The harsh reality is that data science jobs are disappearing fast. But if you shouldn't pursue data science, then what should you do? What's the safest career path for the next decade? That's exactly what I'm covering in this video. My name is Dev and I previously worked at Amazon. I also got an offer from Google the day I graduated. And over the past few years, I've helped thousands of people from my program land their dream job offer. From startups to AMD, Amazon, and even Google. That program is linked in the description in case you want to learn more. Here is exactly what we're going to cover in this video. First, why data science jobs are disappearing. Second, the new set of skills that you've got to build instead. And finally, the number one career path that I recommend to all of my students. Let's start by addressing something that is so frustrating and it should piss you off too. You've probably noticed how most tech influencers keep flip-flopping. First, they say software engineering is dead. Do data science now. Then a year later, they'll say Forget data science, it's all about data engineering now. Then recently... Wait, no, go back to software engineering. It's BS! They keep shifting their story and you're left confused, second-guessing yourself. We don't play that game over here. My promise to you is consistency. And I'm telling you right now, data science is not it. A couple of years ago, I was sitting at my desk, submitting application after application. No responses, completely ghosted. I thought the safe path was data science. But what I didn't realize was that the demand was shrinking. Every company was saying, We don't just need people who can make dashboards. We need people who can build, deploy, and integrate models into production. So I switched gears and doubled down on exactly that. And on my graduation day, I had offers from both Amazon and Google. Without 10 years of experience and without grinding hundreds of leak code problems. Since then, I've also managed to stay fit, maintain a five-year relationship, and travel the world. Okay, Doug, we get it. Stop bragging. All right, I'll chill out with that. But why am I telling you this? Because I want you to see that you don't need to sacrifice your entire life to land a stable job. If you choose the right path, which I'll reveal later in this video, and trust me, it's not data science, then you can have it all. Now, you might be thinking, Okay, Dev, you pulled this off, but can other people do it too? Let me tell you about Jack, a student of mine. He thought his best shot was to apply for data science jobs. He kept getting rejected, ghosted by over 200 applications. When we pivoted him to focus on skills that employers actually care about these days, like fine-tuning LLMs, everything changed. Within four months, he landed a role at Amazon. Or take Sarah, she was halfway through a master's in data science. She was burning out, questioning if it was even worth it. She started to work with me, shifted her portfolio to focus on LLM projects, and now she's working at AMD. I could go on. Thousands of people have made this transition, and you can too. Now, it's time to answer our original question. Why are data science jobs disappearing? A recent report showed that data science postings dropped by almost 26%. Companies are automating large portions of what entry-level data scientists used to do. Think about it. Do companies really need to hire a junior data scientist to make some charts in Python when an LLM can do that in one prompt? Now, I'm not an AI doer. I don't think AI is going to replace us all. Because here's what AI can't automate yet. Designing production pipelines, fine-tuning models for business use cases, and deploying models at scale with reliability. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. There's a false belief that data science is easier to get into than other fields like AI engineering. You might be thinking, AI requires too much math. AI jobs require a master's or PhD. I need years of experience first. All of those are false. My student Jack didn't have a master's. My student Sarah didn't have 10 years of experience. I don't have a PhD. What we all had were projects that proved our skills. Here's the framework I teach. I call it the portfolio powerhouse and you can learn more from the link in the description. Pick one practical project, like fine-tuning an LLM. Pick one from scratch project, like rebuilding a transformer. Package both into a portfolio that's friendly to recruiters, but impressive to hiring managers. That's what separates students who get ghosted from ones who get offers at top companies. Now, let me tell you the number one career path that I recommend to all of my students. It doesn't just work today, but it's future-proofed for the 
next decade. It's not data science and it's not even traditional suite. It's AI ML engineering. This is where demand is growing. This is where salaries are skyrocketing. And this is the field where students and professionals are landing jobs faster than ever before. Now, I have one more very special video for you to watch. In this video, I break down the exact strategy I use to become an AI engineer at Amazon and Google. Trust me, you don't want to miss it and I'll see you there.